So let's do that and have some fun, shall we? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, nice. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate that. I really, really appreciate that. But I'm just going to attack in with these. Thank you very much. Oh my god. I just did this out of pure fun, and all of a sudden it turned into a nightmare for our opponents. And the nightmare is me, Hangman Malone. Oh, you answered poorly. And now, my friend, you hang. What up, undead brothers and undead sisters? And welcome to MTG Malone's Horror Show. With me, Ghoul Malone. <laughs> okay, I stop now, but the voice is just too fun to do. So yeah, we're still in Dustmorn, early access. And this, the deck we're playing today, might be my favorite deck of them all. It was so fun. It was so strong. I loved every single thing about it. Before we get into that though, we're still on our way to 33,333. So if you have nuts already, Scare that subscribe button by smashing it. I would appreciate it very freaking much. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the root canal hammering. We're playing in serious roots, but we upgraded it so hard, so hard that it's going to be absolutely chef's kiss, freaking delicious. So in serious roots, you know, makes your plants very darn freaking good. We like that. But the problem with those plants is, yes, they make a lot of mana with Tyvar. But they kind of can't attack in when they enter the battlefield, you know? You make yourself two, the three, to maybe four plants each turn, and they just sit there, being sad about their life. Threat no more! <laughs> we have the Enduring Courage! This is crazy! Whenever another creature you control enters, it gets plus two plus O oh, and gains haste until end of turn. So they don't only act as if they had haste, they now literally have haste. That is crazy. Because all of your plants now can attack in easily. Freaking easily, man. And I love it so much. So the Enduring Courage, this little wolf here right now, or is it a dog? I would say it's a chef owned. So yeah, it's, I don't know what that is in English. German Shepherd? Is that it? German Shepherd? You don't know? You're just a wall? Not even the walls are talking to me. So, if it dies, it returns to the battlefield as an enchantment. So, this leaves twice because it's enduring, you know? Eh, there you get it. There you get it. So, how are we doing all of this? Well, let's talk about the old cards first that just are irreplaceable in this kind of deck. Fairy Dream Thief, you survey, you can remove it from your graveyard just by itself. Ica Drinker, you can remove it from your graveyard just by itself for the roots. Snarling Gorehound, every time a root enters, you get to survey, which is pretty darn good. And Ermac Repossession, to get back if you mill yourself in Insidious Roots, with the Tiber, for example, or to say its name, or something like this. New cards, and there is a lot of them. Uh, we're running the Patchwork Beastie. It has Delirium, so it can't attack or block, unless there's four more card types among cards in your graveyard. But also, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may mill a card which is pretty good for a root stack. Uh, the Brute Spinner, yes, these eyes are real. The token is absolutely crazy. Helga C. Balzer, oh my lord, this is one of the most metal tokens that I've ever seen, and I'm here for it. But his Brute Spinner, I don't know what's up with the eyes. <laughs> it's very, very weird, but uh, we take him, we take him. When it enters, you survey two. Then for four mana, you can sack it, and create insects equal to the number of card types among cards in a graveyard. If you do that, all of these insects now with Insidious Roots make mana, and with Enduring Courage they get haste. So these will be three ones with haste and flying, which is absolutely insane. So yeah, these insects, pretty darn amazing. Say its name. 
Say its name, say its name, when no one is around you, I'll turn it to thrice cold. This card is so good. So good. So you mill three cards, then you may return land or a creature. If you return a creature, it will trigger the insidious roots. Then you can exile this and two other cards called Say Its Name. Because you say the name three times, you know, just like Beetlejuice. So you say the name three times, now you may search your graveyard, hand, and library, and or library, for a card called Altenek the Thrice called, you put it onto the battlefield for free. Activate as a sorcery. And here it is, Altenek. Let's get it over here so you can read it. Altenek is a 9-9 with trample. And whenever it becomes a target of a spell or ability in opponent control, so it, it, for example, they want to destroy it, you draw a card. And for two, you can discard it and return a land from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. You might say, okay, now it's gone. No, no, you can search your graveyard for it. You can literally search your graveyard for it and put it on the battlefield for free. So that is insane. Now to the second MVP of the deck. This is such a good card. When it enters or attacks, you mill four cards. Then you may return a non-avatar, so you cannot return other versions of this creature or a planeswalker from a graveyard to your hand. I misjudged this card. When I read it, in my head, it was from amongst the milled cards. No, 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 no. It's not a milled cards. It's all cards in your graveyards. You can return your Tyvar. You can return every other creature that you want just by playing this and milling some cards. You can play this on turn 2, and then until turn 7 it will stay an enchantment because of the impending. So you put the time counters on it, 5 time counters, because there's impending 5. Every end step you remove a counter. Every end step. And then, when the 5th counter is removed, it becomes a 5-5 five, five creature, which is crazy good. And now if it attacks, you do the whole spiel again. Or you wait until turn 5 if you want to, which with the Insidious Roots deck you don't really want to. And just play it, hard cast it. Let's go ahead, do that. We have so much mana in the deck so fast, it will absolutely be working. We're also playing some of the new lands. This land, I would put them here so that you can see them better. At this hand, land right here, just produces black mana. But you can also produce red mana if you have a swamp. Same here, this produces red mana. But you can also produce red mana if you have a forest. It says also mountain, and here also mountain, but we don't play mountain, so we won't have those. And blooming marsh, of course. Uh, so we won't have those. And those are very important because I tried the version without them before, without these two lands. And it was very, very hard to get the Enduring Courage out if you didn't have the Insidious Roots, you know. But this, this gets the deck over the top. So sorry for talking so long, but I had to get you through the new mechanics that make this deck insanely busted. Like, this is now a combo deck that just goes out of control so fast. You will have infinite mana, you will have infinite freaking like survey with this equals mill. And as long as you play your cards right, you will have a lot of freaking fun. Uh, we have 5, 10, 14, 18, 22 lands. If you want to, you can go to 20 lands, put in some card draw, but I don't think you should. I just don't think you should. So thank you also very, very freaking much. This is Root Canal, because our opponents will suffer like hell. The most evil root stack we have ever seen. Thank you also very freaking much. I am Ghoul Malone, and I will see you in those Rooting For Us games. All right, we're up against Legend. Yo, opponent going first. I do not like it too much, but I love our hand here. Okay, I wonder what they're playing. We could drink a coming down. They play black. They play Demir. Here comes the bat. In three, two, 
One deep cavern bat. Come on, play it, legend. For large archaeologist. Okay, all right. Well, that was pretty good for us. Insidious roots coming down straight up. I'm not even waiting. I will be attacking in because if I can make two of those, I'm pretty darn happy with it. They're thinking about it. Alrighty. Domain? I don't think it's domain. Oh, I think it's the infinite life draw combo. There it is. One turn too late. One turn too late. Second bat today, though. It's kind of insane. So I think they will be getting rid of my overlord here. Which would be bad, you know, because we don't really have a chance. Don't really have a chance to get it back. And that is what they took. Smartest decision here. Absolutely smartest freaking decision here. Alright. So I am attacking in. They're not doing anything about it. Now we'll say its name. Get the Brute Spinner. Playing you... Patchwork Beastie is fine. I lost my other Insidious Roots, which kind of sucks, but it's still okay. I still think they have the infinite uh, card draw combo. We just need to go infiniter. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, by the way, I can just get it back. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can just get the Roots back. I can just get the Roots back. So, I will be building myself anyways with the Beastie. Oh, legend. Oh, legend. I'm so excited I need to... Oh, okay, all right. That's absolutely fine with me. I don't know why they did that, but that is absolutely fine with me. All right. Okay, you go ahead and do that. Attack with your bat. Take action. Whatever it is, I'm fine with it. Say its name. All right, Tyvar is absolutely insanely good here. Absolutely insanely freaking good here. Now we can throw this away. I can play this kicked, right? Yes. Yes, I can. Yes, I can play this kicked. Here's the Ica Drinker now. And here's the other Ica Drinker attacking in. So... I wonder what they're playing here. I really, really do wonder what they're playing here. But at least we have a blocker for the Deep Cavern Bat. So that's already something. We do have the Brute Spinner. We do have another Insidious Roots. So we can absolutely do stuff here. At least that's my dreams and hope. How's Malone Morn playing? Pretty good. Insidious Roots is going absolutely bat poop crazy. I'm so excited. I need some nachos. I need some nachos. I need some nachos. I need some nachos in my mouth. Mmm. Hashtag not sponsored. How many more randory nerds do they want to play here? Come at me, bro. Okay. Alright. I see what you're doing. Oh, no. That was very, very sad. That was very, very sad to have lost here. This is fine, though. So we can get it back next turn. And then hopefully go a little bit more crazy than this. I mean, this is still a lot of damage, you know, coming their way. This is still a lot of damage. Mm -mm. This is House of Horror. I have a horror face. So we just do this with Tyvar. As long as I don't have the, the thing that mills me now. I'm okay with that. But then I think we can win. We have double roots. We have Tyvar.
Okay. I think we can win here. Did I wear a cowboy hat? Yes. Actually, I did. Not for long. But I did. I think we can win here. I don't know what is on top. Okay. Terra Tide. Annoying. Maybe to forget about the ginormous brute spinner thing. Uh, no, don't. Don't mill me here. Please do not do that. Okay. All right. Two more plants. Enduring courage. <gasps> I cannot cast Tyvar. But I still kind of have to block this, right? I cannot cast Tyvar yet. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I hope we're not dead. I was missing one land. I think we're dead. I think we're dead. I have a feeling that we're dead. If we beat Legend VD, that will be my first out of three games that I beat him. I lost two. Aglazotst? Okay, let's go, baby! We win! We win. We win. We beat Legend VD. Yeah, that's a miller card. It was a land. All right. Let's make it fight to remember. I just want to be certain here. I won't let you fall. I just want to be very, very certain here that I win. I don't need this anymore. I cannot even draw it anymore. Oh my lord. I don't need this either. I don't need this one either. <laughs> this can go... Yo, the addition of the lands was absolutely great. That we did that was absolutely freaking great. Okay, how many is in there? I think I'm going to sack this little... Uh, little spider here. You can also go. I don't need you. I don't need you. The fairy's protection. Good game. Good game. I'm going to attack now. All of you can go. All of you. All right. Let's attack in. Let's let's just attack in. This was absolutely crazy beating legend BD. Let's go. Who's the legend now? Who is the legend now? Oh my god. Minus 76! Minus 76 freaking damage! Oh, loser VD is what I call you! Please don't be mad. I love you. I love you very much. Please call me and work with me. Loser VD! Loser VD! Get out of here! Are you ready for Mono Black? Because we're up against. Effily. Oh my god! Yo, roaming boss, thanks for the follow. Oh my god, what is this hand? This is so good. At everyone's core, we would rather be playing Roots. I mean, A, the deck is just absolutely insane. Wait, you're not playing mono freaking what? What? Oh, Ethely. Yo, to the Gary 3, thank you for the follow. Scraps Hive. Let's be greedy here. You can play this and then return two creatures in one turn at least, you know? Skrelf's freaking hive. Why? Why? Oh. You think we will middle land? I think this is worth it. There it is. There's the land. Absolutely worth it. 
Um, let's get the fairy dream thief. These are not legendary, by the way. These are not legendary. I think Effily is playing Balloon Man. Balloon Man! It's like a spoon man, but made of our balloons. So that if you're using your spoons, it will absolutely be doomed. Man, this deck is absolutely insane. I need to read this card again. Read it with me. Mill three cards, then you may return a creature card or land from your graveyard to the head battlefield. Exile this card and two other cards say its name, such a graveyard. Okay. Such a graveyard, hand, and or library for a name this. Put it on the battlefield. That is absolutely insane. Why do they have manners? What? Why are you attacking in with everything? I mean, I'm gladly getting rid of that, you know? There's another overlord in here, right? Yeah. And it is a creature. Let's return it. Wait. Before we do that, we should be doing this, right? I kind of want that land in my hand afterwards. You get in here. Make me two roots. Make me two roots. Who is the token deck this time, Effily? Who is the token deck? It is me, Malone. Yep, 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 yep. I don't even want the land. Oh, wait, there is only lands. Okay. And I cannot get lands with this. I did not know that. All right. Doom is indeed impending. The alternate arts in the set are so fire. I agree. I wholeheartedly agree. So I can get another one and this time play it as a creature. Which is pretty darn good. And maybe I even find like um, the red thingy, you know? That one. That one would be good. Only Lance, you're right about that. It was only Lance. I think she's preparing for Annabelle or whatever her name is. That is what I think will be happening here. So we need to be very, very aggressive now. Very aggressive. Song of Totentons. Okay. All right. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. So, um... Let's first repossess Urborg. Get the Overlord. What do you think will happen here? Am I even playing it as a creature? No. No, I am not. <gasps> there is Tyvar, baby! Okay, alright, we're still cooking here. We're still absolutely cooking here. <gasps> there it is. There it is. Okay. All right. Okay, all right. I don't need another Tyvar. <gasps> I have no ways for returning it. No freaking ways of returning it. So sad right now. So freaking sad right now. Okay, this one stays on top. And we pass the turn and hope that we're not dead next turn. All right. We are on our way to greatness here, my friends. We're absolutely on our way to greatness. Because we will be sacking this little spider. Oh my god, this deck is so disgusting. For now. For now they're small. Okay. This is absolutely fine. For now they are small. But now... We go ham. Let's go freaking ham, baby. Let us go freaking ham, baby. Alrighty. 
Oh, I want that. Yes, I absolutely want that. Absolutely do. Okay, they all get haste. They all survey twice. I draw that card. Um, I return another brute spinner. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, all right. So, uh, yeah, I want to attack with all the insects. Oh, wait, I can throw this away. What am I even doing here? I want to attack with all the insects. I don't even know if I have enough mana. Well, now I will have enough mana, right? Now I will have enough mana. <laughs> I don't think I can both use both, you know? But I think that this is still fine. Okay. So... Yeah. So, yeah. I think this is okay. I don't know if it is. Oh my god, this clicking. <laughs> the clicking! <laughs> the clicking! We're missing exactly a damage, by the way. <gasps> can do this again. Can do this again because those are tokens. <gasps> I forgot that it's all tokens. It's all tokens. Let's screw you then. Another Ica Drinker. Ica Drinker is equals two mana. Iker Drinker is equals two mana. I don't need this either. Okay, one mana equals two mana. Holy freaking smoking Jesus. <laughs> I'm so sorry for my opponents that have to go through this, you know? Okay. This is one, two, three, four. We get rid of two of these as well. I think we're fine, right? My whole deck is empty at this point. So, black. Black. I had to do this to win, by the way. In case you're wondering, I had to do this to win. Those two can be blocked. And now we win. Now we do have enough. And I will just empty my deck. What I want to do is empty my deck. And win with no deck at all. No deck. No cards in hand almost. But these two. I could also get rid of these two cards. But would I win then? Would I win then? If I lose three insects, I don't think I can win. I don't think I can. Can I win if I lose three insects? It would be back to six, so no. Boom. Boom. No cards in my deck. And I win. As you can see, I had to do it. With six, I would not have won. Because they blocked two. Four would have gone through. Twelve damage. Not enough. Get out of here, Heffley. There was no mono black. I thought you were trying to become the princess of mono black. But all you got was the princess of mono sad. Get hang. Alrighty, Root. Bloody roots. We encounter this person a lot. Um, we can return a land with this. But I think we can do better. Absolutely can do better. All right. Okay. Mono red. Interesting. Ooh, Tyvar now. 
If they're playing the... Oh my lord, okay, I was just about to say. Yo, Twin Tail Nami, thank you for the follow. We're being greedy here. I'm being absolutely greedy here. I'm not even lying. I would greed it out so hard. It's going to be painful for them. Absolutely painful. I got an old school Undertaker look. I know, right? I know. So, do we even have four different car types? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, were you able to see my message earlier? Sorry if I'm bothering you. I just don't want to spam the same question in chat. I did not see it, but it's no problem. Please shoot it again. I would appreciate that because I don't know. Just, just repeat the question. It's no worries. Absolutely no freaking worries. No best of three. This is the early access event. So, nope. Nope. Best of three. Alright, how dead are we? How freaking dead are we? Okay, we're getting you here. Very, very good. What does this do? We still need more for that. Yo, monkey trousers! Thank you for the follow! I want this back. Give it back to me! Okay... Yeah, you go ahead and do that. Yeah, just, just go ahead and do that. See if I care. I'm still getting a lot out of this, so yeah. Alrighty. Doom is impending, my friend. Doom is impending. Yo, Mudman, I'm sorry. This message should not be here anymore. Uh, there is no giveaway right now. The next giveaway will be tomorrow. Next giveaway will be tomorrow. So I can play Tyvar here and then go ham. At least I do think so. Yeah, I will absolutely do that. All comes down to what they're doing now, though. I mean, once more, a no new cards enjoyer. Uh, the red room called Charge for you looks like an awesome combo for Junt Roots. It's too expensive, you think? I think so as well. It sounds very expensive. It's given the song of our people. Target creature. Interesting. I still wonder, I ponder what they're doing here, you know? Alright, looking for another mountain. What kind of shenaniganery is this? Oh, the best kind. Just the best kind of shenaniganery. Alright, they got another volcanic spite. Oh no, now we don't know what the card is anymore. Oh no. Alright, yeah, that sucks, but hey. But hey. What you gonna do about it? I'm bringing in Tyvar. Oh, it's Mill here. Rally, my friend. This is pretty good. But yeah, I would like that. You know, I don't really know what to do with it right now. I'm doing this though. And let's get the patchwork beastie here. Okay, that is pretty good. I don't need that. I don't want that. But I am attacking here. They want to get rid of this. That's fine with me. Okay, alright. So, um... Ica Drinker coming down. I mean, we're looking pretty darn good here. I don't know about all of you. I don't need that anymore. Can I not play this as a creature now? One, two, three, four. So I'm making two more and then I can play it as a creature, right? Right? Oh man, this looks good. This looks pretty darn good. Okay. Uh, 
Brood Spinner is fine. We can return this to our hand. Do you think they have a board wipe? Okay, here comes a Brood Spinner. I mean, we're still look doing a lot here. We're still doing a lot here. So, yeah. Um, I don't want Tyvar. I don't want this Brood Spinner also. Okay. Patchwork Beastie can go. We don't need that anymore. Also don't need these two anymore. Poof! Poof! I was wondering if there's any new cards for discard decks. There might actually be some... Eh, they scoop. They, they, they did all of this just to scoop. <laughs> they did all of this just to scoop. Get out of here. Malone is in my bones now. <gasps> Krimmers! Yes, Krimmers! Absolute freaking Krimmers. Is the Ikor Drinkor. Good game. Howdy. We are attacking in first. Is Insidious Roots? Roots! Insidious Roots! Ooh, Jund! Ooh! Twitching Doll, eh? Alright, I am attacking in. This card is so disgusting. I love it. Overlord is good here. Alright. So I need to kick this to get Tyvar back. But it's absolutely worth it. Oh no! Oh, boo on you, game! Boo on you! Boo on you! Absolutely boo! Boo, boo, boo on you. That is kind of unfair. Kind of very, very unfair. Well, the thing is, if they remove creatures, that is still kind of fine, you know? Boo on freaking you, game. Okay, at least we got Tyvar back. Unfreaking real, man. Unfreaking real. Cannot believe it. First thing they do is drop in the Gata Soul Cotton. Yo, what? I mean, go ahead. It still triggers my roots, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does trigger my roots. What you gonna do about that? What you gonna do about it? Ooh. Okay. All right. Yeah, isn't that like super good for us? Isn't that like insanely busted? Well, I guess let's find out. I guess let's freaking find out, shall we? Okay. All right. Um. That is pretty, pretty good. Not gonna lie. I'm a huge fan of this, what is just happening. Huge freaking fan. So I'm attacking you with everything here. Oh my god, okay, all right. <laughs> oh, I hope you enjoyed exiling my stuff. Oh, we will be going so ham now. So insanely ham. Yes, they can get rid of my Tyvar, but do I really care about that? Shouldn't have tapped her soul cauldron, I agree. Enduring Courage, let's go, baby! Let's absolutely go. So this can get sacked, not only as a sorcery. Man, this card is so disgusting. It's made 
out of spiders. Okay. You do that. Why does this have lifelink, though? Oh, because of this. Because of this. Say its name, baby. Say its name. Oh my god. This is so insane. <laughs> oh my god. Stop it. They're dead already. They're dead already. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's return this. So, first they get haste, right? Yes. <laughs> first they get haste. And then we will see. Oh my god. All right. I can make some spiders here, right? So let's do that and have some fun, shall we? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate that. I really, really appreciate that. But I'm just going to attack in with these. Thank you very much. Oh my god. I just did this out of pure fun. And all of a sudden it turned into a nightmare for our opponents. And the nightmare is me, Hangman Malone. Oh, you answered poorly. And now, my friend, you hang. Rob against Magic Double C again. <gasps> Rimmers! Yes, Krimmers! I want to keep this hand. I think we can go far with this hand. What? I have no clue what you just said. Neptvanks, I have no freaking clue. Alright, this is fine. Now let's bring in the Brute Spinner. It's just value per value. Uh, don't really need another land right now. Do I want both of these? I think having this in the graveyard is alright. And I will be attacking him, because why not? Yo, it's midnight, I'm still streaming almost. What you just said? I said what? <laughs> I still am confused here. Still am one hundo confused. Are you shooting this? You shouldn't. Just don't shoot it. I want this is my in my hand absolutely, but I need the roots. What? Okay. Still cannot really attack in here. Are you though? What do they have for zero mana? Nothing, right? There's like literally nothing for zero mana, right? We need to find roots. Nope. Just nope. I want that. If I mill roots with it, so be it. But I really need to find roots here. Really, really need to find the roots. I think this will be the last game for the night. Because I want to be fresh for tomorrow's stream. Ooh, okay. Alright. Yo, Ultimate Guard! Pokemon Music Intensifies. Best sponsor ever. Thanks for tuning in. I hope your stream was amazing. I hope the stream was great. So Magic, Wizards of the Coast, 48, MTG. Being a little bit on the slow side here. But that is fine. What am I supposed to do about it? 
Okay. Alright. Interesting. Interesting. That sucks. And it took him five and a half hours to figure that out, eh? No blocks. Should have blocked that sucker. Please don't mill me the roots. Please don't mill me the roots. Okay, this will help me dig more for roots. Nope. Can I, can I get my roots, please? No? There's no, there's no roots here because I'm playing against another Wizards of the Coast employee? Okay, alright. <laughs> Every time we play against Wizards of the Coast, we lose. They just have it all. Okay. Alright, why not? I mean, we're literally just dead here, you know? Yeah. Good game. Every time. It's Jim Davis? Why does he have this? Wait, why is this handle magic double C 48 MTG? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I hope you enjoyed the horror that is Dusk Morning. This was the early access event, my friend. So remember to leave a comment down below. Let me think how much this deck scared you. Because it scared me a lot. I think the meta is in a very good place after this. I think Mono Red will be very, very evil in best of one. But in best of three, I'd have a chance to never see it again. I want to thank you all so very freaking much. The early access was very tiresome. I'm giving you this exact same outro every single time now. So there's no special word. Come up with yourself with the word. But it has to have a little Malone in it. Be creative. Don't be mean. Remember there's children watching. I, I wanted to try and scare the, scare the children. So yeah. I want to thank you all so very freaking much. The early access event is always amazing. I, I still look like crap. I have to go wash my hand. That is news. The news is loose. So thank you all so very freaking much. And remember, my friends, and if you're waking up tomorrow morning, see the beautiful, beautiful face of yours in the mirror. That all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you in Dusk Morn. House of Horrors.